<laughs> oh my god what the hell is this <laughs> this is a this is a big no but it's so hey yo guys i cannot explain how excited i am right now because in today's video we're going to be testing dolly which is a text to image ai basically what it means is like you type whatever you have in your mind in text and it's gonna generate into a photo, an image, a painting, whatever you want it to be. And if you look it up on YouTube, you're gonna see a lot of examples. But in today's video, I'm gonna bring it to another level. So they have a function where you can send them an image and they basically will expand that image uh, based on the image you gave them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them a few of my street photography. Basically, they're gonna generate more image from my original photo and I'm gonna see how well it does. I'm really excited about it. Let's just get right into it. So right now we are in the homepage of Dolly, which is uh, openai.com. They have uh, credits. You have 50 credits when you first join it. And every time you generate or edit an image, they're gonna take away one credit. So they have a part where you can upload an image and I'm gonna upload one of my street photography. So over here, I got my photo that I shot in Tokyo a couple of years ago. And what I'm really curious about is whether or not these generated image can match my color because you know, every photographer, we have our own style when it comes to color grading. So I'm really curious how it is gonna read the color and kind of make something based on my specific style of color. So I think you click add generation frame and it's gonna give you this little square where you can click wherever you want the image to expand towards to. So, and what you have to do is you have to go to this text bar and kind of describe this image first. So you're gonna feed the AI more information on what this image contain and then it's gonna create more based on what you wrote and based on the, the photo itself. So a street under a highway in Japan with lots of cars on the road. Let's see how well it does. Okay. Okay, it's, it's not bad. It's actually pretty impressive because it understood that this is the highway, the bridge, right? And so it needs to understand also the perspective of the image. Like where did I take this photo from? And I would say that the color is is okay. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it, there's no like weird uh, color shift. If you look at it from far, you would know that it's the same image, but actually you can uh, pick, there's not just one. So we can click this arrow and then there's different options. Okay, so this look more like a painting style, is it? I, I think I heard somewhere if you add the word hyper-realistic, uh, the, the AI generated image is gonna look much uh, in high resolution. What this one is. <laughs> Well, I feel like it's pretty much the same, you know, oh, oh, I think this one is better. Yeah, this one is actually, I think this one so far is the best one. Yes, yes. Yeah, this one, actually I prefer that one. Yeah, I prefer this one. So I'm gonna hit accept. So uh, this is your, your image and I can generate more of them if I want to. Let's see how far I can go with this actually. Let's go one more time and then we're gonna switch the image, okay? So I got the right one and let's give it to the left side. Oh, it kind of just continued the building and it also knew the perspective of the image. Again, I, I would say that the perspective is pretty successful and has the bridge, right? This one is okay. Definitely, this one, this one is, uh, yeah. But I actually, I prefer the first one, I would say. So this is the original image and this is the after. Pretty impressive. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, I feel like this one is gonna be easy. This one, there's there's enough information in this one. Yeah, I think these ones are okay. This one, even the perspective, I would say is good. And you know, the color, I, I would say is all right, but this one will be my favorite one so far. Lastly, let's do it to the left, right? Okay, hey, let's see. Okay, this is uh, this is it's so interesting of what it knows also because I feel like it's reading where the sun, where the light is coming from also, you know? Um, yeah, these are not. This one is okay actually, whoa. I'm impressed and look, the, they're trying to write something in Chinese, you know? You don't even know what it means. I guess that's how people who cannot read Chinese see Chinese, like it's like a mess. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to go on top just to see what you're gonna do, you know, like with this description, how is it going to create the image? Is it gonna create like a street or is it just gonna create the sky? Who knows? Ah, <laughs> this is so funny. This is really funny. Uh, you know, I think 
<laughs> we have a very famous building called the 101, which is a building with 101 floor. It kind of looked like this. I, I, I think it's because I said that it's in Taiwan, so it's putting 101 inside. It's kind of funny because whenever the government or this tour, tourism company, they try to promote Taiwan, they always put the 101 in the background. Like, okay, you, when you see 101, you know it's, it's Taiwan because it's so tall that you practically you can see from a lot of places. So, yeah, I would say this is actually not bad. It understood that this is the sky here. And actually, it kind of caught this, the height of this building pretty correctly as well. Usually, the building is this tall. And you know what? Let's just finish this image. You know, I don't want it to have this weird shape. So... Although it missed a couple of times, but I am really impressed of how it understood the culture, it understood the perspective, it understood the lighting, it understood the colors. All these things have to be put into consideration. Like I said in my previous video, I do think that AI is gonna help us as a creator and make our, our job much, much easier. But I don't think it is going to like take over us as an identity, as an artist. I don't think it's gonna do that. It is going to take over some more technical aspects of things, which I'll make a video about it very soon. If you guys want me to do more things with Dali, make sure to comment down below and tell me what you want me to do with it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.